Hi, this is Chris Cook from 3M Commercial Graphics. Uh, today we're going to talk about how you can use your heat gun when you're actually doing a vehicle wrap. What are some of the tips and techniques that you can use well, with the heat gun to make the application go a lot more easily and a lot more quickly. Okay, one of the first uh, ways that we can use the heat gun to help with the application is to take advantage of the behaviour of, uh, of, of the film where it acts kind of like a shrink wrap. Um, what we do is we've actually laid the panel onto the uh, side of the car and I'm going to now spend a couple of minutes going around and actually adjusting it, trying to remove as many of these wrinkles as, uh, and ripples as we can out of the film to get it laying as flat on the surface as we can but also trying to get the film under a little bit of tension and want it a little bit tight um, along the surface. So we're going to go around and just sort of adjust that tension to try and smooth that out. So just pull the film nice and taut, kind of tack the edges down a little bit to get it under that little bit of tension. So pulling on it a little bit firmly, kind of, you know, get it under that little bit of tension. And you can see now that over the, the surface of the car, the film is already laying fairly flat, but we still do have some of these little ripples here where we've got a little bit of excess film. Uh, now, if we actually start to apply this with our squeegee now, we'd be sort of constantly battling these, uh, uh, this excess film here, trying to work it off to the, uh, to the edge of the panel so that we can trim it away. But if we get our heat gun now, we can actually, as I said, take advantage of the fact that the film behaves like shrink wrap. If we apply some heat to this, we can actually shrink out all of those wrinkles and get nice, smooth, flat film. Okay, so we've tensioned our film up and we've tried to smooth it out as much as we can on the surface. So what we're going to do now is actually take our heat gun and actually start to apply some heat to these areas of the film. And what you're going to notice is watching these, uh, watching these wrinkles here is as we apply the heat to them, you'll notice that the film is actually shrinking. It's actually taking out those wrinkles, We're actually kind of erasing them from the film. Interestingly, as you, as you heat it, the wrinkles, they first uh, start off actually looking worse, uh, but then as you continue to heat them, uh, the film actually shrinks back to being flat. We work up here, and then continue these off to the edge of the, edge of the panel. I like to sort of chase the wrinkles, to, you know, start at the edge of the wrinkle, work along the wrinkle to, to the, edge of the uh, edge of the panel. You can actually be surprisingly aggressive with the heat. Uh, the film will take quite a lot of heating and it will just continue to shrink. Uh, this is something though that you do need to practice to get a feel for the film uh, in terms of knowing how much heat it will take and how much is a little bit too much. But you can see how effective it is. Those wrinkles are really just shrinking themselves out of the film and we're ending up with a nice smooth surface. Again, chasing those wrinkles along their length off to the edge of the edge of the graphic. And quite importantly, this does only work when the film is under a bit of tension. If the film is loose on the surface, uh, it doesn't seem to have anything to pull against, and it won't uh, the wrinkles won't shrink out. You just uh, get the film kind of flapping in the breeze from the heat gun. So it is important to do that preparation step where you put that little bit of tension onto the film. There are some parts of the graphic where the, the heat shrinking won't work. There's only a certain amount that the film will actually shrink. So you'll find that there are some parts of the vehicle, particularly where there's quite severe curvature in the panels, where there's just so much excess film that it's not going to shrink out. Typically though, those areas are near the edge of the panels anyway, so they're going to be quite easy for us to come back and actually deal with later during the application. We'll actually cover how to do that uh, during part two. Okay, so you can see that the result of using the heat gun to shrink out those wrinkles is that we've gotten rid of all of that excess film and now the graphic is sitting really nice and smooth on the surface of the car. It's really now just a matter of getting your squeegee and basically just pushing the film straight down onto the surface. So it really does make the application much, much easier because you're not constantly battling all of those wrinkles in the film. To make it work properly though, as I mentioned earlier, you do need to set up for it properly. Spend that couple of minutes 
going around and adjusting the film to get it under that little bit of tension and sitting as flat on the surface as you can. That really makes the, the heat shrinking work much, much better. So that's one tip for uh, using your heat gun to make your vehicle wraps uh, a little bit easier. Uh, in the next uh, instalment we'll actually talk about a, a few more tips and techniques on how to use the heat gun again to uh, improve your applications. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.